Hey, welcome to Graph Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad. It's Wednesday. It's a brand new comic book day. New comics are hitting shelves all across the world. You can get them digitally, you can get them physically, you can get them any way you want them. It's awesome being a comic book fan. Why am I wearing this luchador mask? Well, you're going to have to watch a review of Border Town to check that out. But right now we are doing a review of cover number one, the latest comic series from Jinx World and DC Comics, written by Brian Michael Bendis, with uh, David Mack is the artist. This is, a, this is a pretty interesting comic. Um, basically, the gist is that you've got uh, CIA or spy service, whatever, uh, recognizing that since comic book artists kind of travel all over the world, they're like great for cover and pursuing that. Now, there's some humor out of this in that you've got a former CIA agent, Tom King, who's actually writing comic books. So this kind of feels like a goof on his life because he has said that when he had to travel the world, he just did cover as a comic nerd, because uh, who the hell would pay attention to that? So uh, there's some humor to that. The other is that there was a program post 9-11 where, and I think it's still going on, where the United States government reached out to entertainment creators, including some comic creators. Some of those comics are now becoming actual comics that people can read, uh, where they had these entertainment cre uh, individuals create crazy concepts that uh, the military and intelligence community can then kind of see how to prevent. So basically, like, so what's worst case scenarios? And then they went through to, to try to stop them or whatever. Uh, so this kind of feels like it's a play off of all of that. Um, it's a little, I think, very meta in the fact that it is a comic about a comic creator who is, a, you know, gets roped in with the CIA, intelligence, whatever. Uh, you've got Tom King. Uh, it mentions things like Archie Comics, Word Balloon Podcast, uh, real world stuff. So it's, there's just this really weird meta read about it. You can just straight up read it and enjoy it. Um, but as you kind of dive more into it and, and, and really explore the story, it just it gets weird like that. This is one where you feel like you're going down the rabbit hole uh, in many ways. I just feel like I should get Tom King to autograph this. Let's go with that. Uh, so the story is, I think, really fascinating. It's a good start. Uh, definitely reads kind of like a slow spy novel. Uh, totally fine with that. Like, not really action-packed. I think it's a, a stronger start than some of the other stuff that um, that Jinx World has launched with. Uh, not as good as Scarlet, I think. But, yeah, it's not actually probably up there with Scarlet. Uh, better than, what was the first one? Pearl? Was that the first one? Um, so, yeah, it's it's just it's a good start. It's a slow start. That's it, but it's it's a spy novel start. Um, the art is really interesting. So it's David Mack doing the art, and there's this like does not remind me of David Mack art. So there's like this aspect to it, which is kind of like this deconstructed minimalist style with that, like very fantasy, dreamlike uh, art, and then you kind of got traditional David Mack here. So it's really kind of a fascinating mix of different art styles. And for that, like, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, the colors are by uh, Zoo or Zoo and the lettering by Carlos Manuel, uh, with design by Curtis King Jr. It's a really interesting, it's just everything's really fascinating about this. So I, I'm really looking forward. I like spy stories. I'm digging this. So, um, you know, this is one I'm kind of looking forward to. I, basically, if you like the slow burn spy stories, not like the fast stuff like a Jason Bourne or a James Bond or anything like that, but we're talking like that slow grind, um, see how things play out. This is uh, this is a pretty solid start. So you can go get this in comic shops today. Um, you got We've got a link beneath this video. You put in your zip code, it'll tell you if your shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We've got some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so you do get a small, we get a small percentage of that by purchasing. We uh, appreciate that. You support our site. Of course, I want to thank DC Comics for working us up with this review copy. As always, we appreciate your support, and thank you for watching. Appreciate your support as well. Uh, if you're into Jinx World, if you're DC Comics, or you're into comics in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.